Hello, and welcome to a, another Let's Play with me, Punk and Mindy. So today, uh, we are going to be on on with the... Um, oh, mine's gone blank now. <laughs> the uh, leather farm, or the uh, beef and leather farm, to get rid of these boys. So, first things first, I have gone and... Done the checklist of the items I want, and I've already realised I am missing something. No, I am not, because they do spawn on here. Hmm. Okay. I wasn't going to build it, because I had a thing they spawned on grass. Some reports that they don't, but pretty sure they do. That's only one on its own, though. So, first things first, though, I need to find out where my water... Uh, it needs to go before I start building the whole thing up. So it's going to go in this corner. It may kind of hide that bit, but that is going to end up being extended up, as will that and these buildings as well. Yeah, they're all going to be built, except those two. They're going to remain where they are, as far as I'm concerned at the moment. That is going to be raised up. They're all going to be raised up at some point because of the water height limit. That'll be nearer to the end of the year where that'll be done. But I need to find out where I'm going to put the water bit. Now I'm thinking having a five gap at the edge of each edges. So just try, I'm sure we're about 13, so let's see where this goes. So how much of a gap is it? No, oh, it's massive. So it's going to be from there. Is there water for each level? got annoyed because my son decided that he was going to put up a load of buckets with water. They've now come in handy. So one, two, three, four, five. So I wanted the water to come to this one. So it's going one, two, three, four, five. Let's make sure. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, I need to come to this square here. Do that first of all. So that's going to be one more. So it's there. Okay, right. See how many I've got here. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, so I almost got it. So it will be this one. It'll be this one. Oh, that's the right one there. One, two, three, four, five. So it is that square right. There. Fine. So I just mark that one up and start building up with. on scaffolding so why am i doing it uh, like that so i'm gonna need the edges where they're gonna fall over to um fall on to my mind will come back to it fall onto hoppers and then send them all into a storage system and i'll start working out from there so this one should be able to AFK relatively near the bottom, but I'm not going to. Oh my. I could just add a ton of campfires and flush them onto that, making this board smaller. Hmm. Come up here, they shouldn't start spawning in theory. They might do. Um, if it's an industrial district, so I do not mind placing all the floor with stone and then just have sort of like the maybe the edge to the beach in stone i don't know to be honest but here goes so water travels out in eight blocks in each direction so one two three four five six seven eight go through that one one two three five six seven eight what you want is you want the water to be able to flow to the edge, but not over the edge. And if I can get them to flow, it means I can have that as the first spawning platform. 
losing less resources. Obviously, the storage system is going to be slightly smaller, but it will help. Four, five, six, seven, eight. This is just where the redstone is going to go, actually. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I think month, next week's live stream, I might just get rid of all that mycelium, turn it into stone, get rid of all the grass, turn that into stone as well. Um, what's that? Maybe for the very ideas? I don't know. Yeah, I'm still not too sure on that. So I'm going to stop filling this in. Seeing how this goes. And there. Get rid of you. I didn't bring it. Definitely didn't bring enough stone, did I? Because I'm a numpty. Got my controls at times. Okay. And I can't test the water out straight away because uh, what will happen is it will just float all the way over to the edge. Right. Uh, fly over the side that you um, haven't completed. There we go. Let's grab some more stone and now I can test out to make sure it is eight and then start filling it in the red. Not doing the redstone if I do that I can then get the platforms installed. So let's go back up there. And then this central bit is going to be where I'm going to put the redstone tower to get the air to keep going, but I also need to make sure this isn't any bigger than the not any bigger than what the actual uh, platform is supposed to be. Now I have got some testing in a testing world where the redstone does overlap the hoppers um, which I'm going to sort out on this because it's quite an easy fix to be honest Sorry. This is where I found out this isn't quite long enough to show it do a quick test in a minute. Uh, one more block there. And then one last one. So yeah, so if there are any sort of like farms you want to learn how to build, um leave me a comment. If I'm not too sure myself on how to build them, I will fully research them. Um and try my best to establish a way of building them that hasn't been built before but if it has been built before no need to worry because i will then credit the actual person who builds it uh, as you can see it's all one two few because i counted out eight deny and it flows in eight directions but that would be nine because of this block ah. see and that is why i am a noob at times but nice easy fix, which is why I always double check. How many of you actually spotted that? Leave a leave a note in the comment that I'd actually leave a comment below that I'd actually you'd actually spotted me doing that. Oh. Make sure I'm not stripped off on too many. I think I can do it the next. Water logs up. Yes, don't go over. No, just to the edge. Just to the edge. Oh, nice. To the edge. And that is where basically you're going to have your dispenser dispensing the water. Okay, let's go to the back to sleep. It's taking me a whole day to do that. I've got more bed around just there. No more mushroom biomes, so I don't have to worry about any um, mobs spawning or anything, but well, I kind of do. So, on mushroom islands, you still do get mobs, just not ground or cave mobs. By that, I mean you'll still get the only mob you will get is phantoms. Um, if you haven't slept in a while, phantoms can still spawn above. 
and then the only other mob is the passive mushroom but the ones we've got over there which is spawners so here goes so i need to work out where my on off switch is going to be for this thing so um from what i have been designing i'm going to need to do this over here actually uh, i'm going to put it on this bit here Uh, I'm gonna have... That's going to be the redstone torch going in, I believe. That's... I'm just going to double check my designs because I do not remember um, how I'm doing this. Seconds, I've got a bit... I just had to take a picture because it was on my laptop and I'm using laptop with my OBS at the moment. Um, but I did take a picture of it, so let's have a look at my picture. I've got... Smart enough to remember that. Uh, so picture on my phone which is next to me. So I need to be able to get the four gaps. So the locking in fact let's go get my repeaters and I can work out where I'm doing it. Because where the observer is going to be is still going to be looking at the whatever repeater is there. But I need to work out where my locking repeater is going to be as well. So have a look and it's going to be slightly shorter than almost slightly um, amended design because of how I'm going to be doing the design 44 pieces should be enough but it might not be okay right let's have a look I don't know why I've got this one I've got um, rockets and an elytra So that is where the observer is going to be coming in there. Then going to have redstone dust uh, there and there. Right. And by shoving the repeater, two, three, four, get rid of you. Change your redstone. Brick. Um, no, no delay. Didn't have a delay on any of these because it needs to. Or did I? Yes, I did. I had a like a one tick delay on them all. I suppose that was to make sure that the sing single the signal was being um. Through. And, then, uh, and two more bits of redstone dust. Uh, uh. No. Uh, the number two mistake comes in. Right, so what I'm going to do, so I need to work out. So it needs to go into one of them. So if it goes in, and if it can go into that one, I can have the signal coming up through that. And that is a possibility. Change this fellow single uh, signal. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, right. Just then, so if I go down and grab a button, I can show you how it works. Grab a button and a lever. I can show you how this uh, clock then works. And you, do, and you can activate the clock from down here using the torch tower. So first of all, we put in the lever. So this bit will be the one that controls the on-off. However, you have got this to make sure that it's still flowing around. Um, I'm actually 
thinking about it. Just so you've got some indication below. Put that on just to make sure that you are aware that it's working. I didn't put this in my design because I've done it in the test world and I could fly around. This should then give you a signal as to whether it's working or not. In fact, if you do it on both sides, so if you do it so there, and then do it at the end here as well, should then get a visual representation of it working. And then if we go sort of like Okay, so this is going to be powered from a button below, but if you put torch there, you get a. That is very, very quick. Does that light? Yes, it does light up. So that is too quick. So maybe it was too registered. Okay, so to slow the circuit down, you just add an extra bit in between because you need to allow time for the flushing of the system for it to go on and off. So you've got enough spawning time as well as enough flushing time so that will then click there I think it's that one it's, yeah that one is the one so if I grab a observer and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to crouch down on top of that one all right it needs to be looking into it right just break that for now there's a few I had it looking at the observer. Don't actually need to be crouching anymore. There we go. And there was two redstone tick delays because it can actually pick up the repeater and you can have the delay in which you won't be able to with a block there. So let's try that again. So break the torch, that will send another thing because the state has changed. And it goes all the way around. And it should then be detecting. Giving a quick flash of signal just to say that it's picked it up. There you go. And that's on for a little time. And then if you want to lock it off, you put that there because that will then stop that being powered. However, the issue comes in is if you lock it whilst it's powered. So give that another update. Um, how am I going to do the update? You down because. I'm going to put, be putting you there anyway, and you give update. There's the update. So if I wait until that's powered, you'll see what happens. I will get it one of these times when it comes around. Too slow. Come on, lock it whilst it's powered. There you go. Uh, as you can see, that will slowly go around. That will light on, but it will stay on. And then you, so you come back to the farm, you turn it off. Look what happens. The whole farm is then broken. Right. You then have that in there. No, that doesn't work. Hmm. I need to work a way of being able to unpower all these hoppers. What way would it be? Short of sending a signal. No, because if I even send a signal there. Okay, so I will be back shortly when I'll work away of fixing this issue. Because um, this was something I came into the system and when I empowered it, it slowly faded everything out. Um, I need to work away of being able to do that. So give me a few. Uh, minutes I will be back when I have come up with the solution uh, and I'm back so um, it's just a simple solution was moving that and placing a hopper into the locked one because what will happen is you'll unlock the lock uh, unlock the hopper you would then press the button to start the farm up and it will just then start going again and then if you want to stop the farm anytime, whether it's powered or unpowered, 
see if I get it in the power state. So yeah, it's in the power state. That will just go around one more time. Will not power anymore. And if you click that, I'll do that again. It will restart the farm again. Nice and simple. <laughs> ah, how many times did I actually try that and it just didn't work? So yeah, that's just a simple solution. Is to uh, put in another observer. Uh, and it has to be after the locked one, I'm going to be honest. Um, because just purely because it will then, uh, if you put it, say, here, that one there isn't really going to change. So let's make sure it's in the one after the, uh, after the locked one. So your next step is to build this size platform again around the observer. Uh, but this... I want to say it has to, normally would be out of mycelium, but as I've discovered about the grass, do I or don't I? Now I'm going to go back to base, build the platform out of uh, mycelium because I've got a ton of mycelium at the base, and it just because of where well, I've been removing it from this island, and it would then definitely work for you guys. Um, and I will be back uh, after that with what you would need to do in the next step. But what I've done now is the bulk of the redstone already. Um, over there, I'm building the control panel, which is going to be down here. Oh, that was where I was testing the sticky piston, and it came out as I thought, which would be it would pop off the uh, redstone duster. Get that removed. That is no longer needed. You've still then got your underneath indicator to show that the farm is working. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be back in a few minutes with enough uh, mycelium to get on with building the farm up uh, before I put in the kill chambers and before I put in the uh, before putting the killing mechanism and before I put in the um, storage and whatnot. So I will be back in a few minutes, guys, and I'm back. So, um, I've got my redstone thing set up here, my tower to turn it on and off. I have changed how I was doing it. So, uh, things I've changed is I've got now a redstone line going into a sticky piston with a plug up here. And that is so the redstone signal can be transferred through and it's on off without, having, without having to worry about locking in. I um, don't know why I'm doing that. Without having to worry about using the lock. And everything I've got is a sticky person going in and out of an observer to kickstart the uh, clock going because that will then send a tick and then that will come up by the time it's all gone round. My farm theoretically is working, but it isn't. It should be working, but it's redstone mechanics on bedrock. Uh, as you'll see in a minute, I've got water in there, it's dispensing it and pulling it in far too quickly uh, for my liking. So, there you go. I've uh, seen this design actually work before, and it works based on that sending a redstone signal to let the water go, and then another one to say water comes back in. And it, I thought it's supposed to do it, but it's doing it too quick. Um, Two very quick pulses, not allowing enough time for the thing to go through, and I can't work out to me the life of me as to what's going on, whether I'm I don't know. It's doing it far too quick. I can't get it to go any longer. So, purely based on this is so frustrating um, because I've got everything working redstone wise below on the clocks. The clock is working perfectly fine. Um, so, my next step is I've built up all eight platforms. I'm going to the uh, some of them are just jammed on. And then they will quickly go in and then, un and then come out again and stay out. So I am going to do something slightly different for this one. And this is the frustrating thing with Minecraft, with uh, Bedrock Redstone is something will work in one world, but not the other. Um, I am going to change this over and do platforms coming out this way. They can be a bit more rectangular. 
probably have a bit more spawning space to be honest. Uh, it's gonna be seven depth and then how many wide this is, 15 I think. Um, it does mean I may have to go back to base and craft up a ton more pistons. And I'm going to do it based on the flushing system of my another warp farm there. But it's going to be on a clock. And I can get the clock working um, by having an observer face into here. And then I can delay the observer sync signal. So it's delayed enough to have pistons open and close and then let water flush. It's going to be the only way I'm going to get this working properly. Um, and I can do it for each level as well. So I'm going to tear this all out. In fact, the spawner space is probably going to be about the same. I'm going to tear this all out and rebuild it. <laughs> so that's a, another uh, bit of time wasted. So for you guys, I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Don't know how long it's going to be for me. And I'm back. Uh, just a little bit of a progress update. Um, I don't want to see that ugly mug. <laughs> so I uh, redone the redstone yet again. Um, but now I've got a, because with the system that was before, with the dispensers, it was either locking the dispensers out and not flushing enough, so they so the machines would um, fall off, or it was just staying on all the time. No, just um, go out of here a bit so you can see block there. There we go. So what I've done is I've fed that uh, timing loop into a burnout clock. This burnout clock then gets a sends the power to this burnout clock. So it's a double burnout clock which then sends the power out to here. Um, and that, uh, repeat, it doesn't turn off until this one turns off, and then that's when that clock stops and then powers that way. If you want to know how a burnout clock is made, I have got a tutorial on my redstone series, in my redstone series, uh, which I'll link in the description below. Um, it's quite a, I find it quite simple now, and. A lot easier than using any sort of hopper clocks because we all know what hoppers are like in bedrock, they can be random. So, I don't know if anything spawned. So, I've got the on off switch here. So, the farm is off at the moment, and I've done it so the rest of the lamp is off when the farm is off. When you power it on, uh, you will get some of the machines falling down. Hopefully, sometime today is coming night time. Um, I have noticed a mechanic that shouldn't be, um, so I think it's a bug, to be honest. Um, and that is they need sky access to actually spawn. Something that surprised me. So uh, yeah, you see, they only spawn on the top platform. And I've got it, so there's enough of a flush to send them over the edge, which should do. They will fight it. I can't put a roof to stop them fighting it just yet, and then they fall down. Why are they dying before they hit the bottom? That was weird. Down. Sure, it died before it hit the bottom. It's kind of died in mid-air. It shouldn't be. Mid-air again. Do I get the drops from them? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, that shouldn't be happening either. I can't remember what I had in there a minute ago. That should not be happening. Right, so that is completely empty. I'm going to go back up and see if they do die in midair. Could just be a visual glitch. So that's okay. So those entity glitches at the moment with like XP. It's dying midair. That one collected. It's working whilst I'm done here. Yeah, still getting the drops. That's fine. I'll just dump all this light in here. I've done it. I'm not sorting this. I don't see the point in this farm. Sort it. There's only two items yet, which is uh, leather and beef. 
and it's going to be overrun with both at some point anyway. So that is the farm pretty much complete. All I'm going to do now, it does take a while for it to turn off. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to finish up and decorate, um, and then I'll be back. And I'm back. So um, the farm is now completely done, as you can see. Internally, it's done. I've centered the doors. I've got things already going in here. Farm is currently running. As you can tell by the light being on. Uh, I've put an iron door so you can AFK in here safely. I have to say safely because that. Um, getting attacked by drones in the middle of the night. Otherwise, uh, the external's done. It's been done in a similar design to the level walk farm. I've centered on the outside there. I've removed all the scaffolding and half slabbed any gaps behind this wall uh, for the pure fact uh, of I don't really want wandering traders to spawn because you know they will do but I haven't finished here um, I've left the roof open for now purely because there is a problem with this version of bedrock where they currently need sky access to spawn and they shouldn't need the sky access just the light level so I've left the roof open for now just so they can spawn on the top layer. But yeah, this is uh, all done, guys. So I'm going to finish up here. I'm going to do some AFKing because uh, I need the item frames. Don't really need the, as you can see, it's working. Don't really need the uh, beef, but it's just an easy soft project. I can dump in some furnaces, cook up, give to the other guys in the realm. So I'm going to finish up here, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment on the video. Uh, all feedback is welcome, positive or negative, as so long as the negative is constructive. Um, if you are um, obviously want to see any other far farms in the future or different types of episodes, uh, let me know. I can potentially have a think about what other episodes I want to do. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching and bye.